Hi guys, it's Claudette with Claudette's Charms. Welcome back to my channel. I've been gone for a little while, so I wanted to update you on what I've been busy crocheting while I've been gone. The first thing I did was this Zara inspired mini dress in granny squares. It's all over TikTok apparently and went viral. So I'll link Alyssa, uh, I can't think of her last name, but I'll link her video below. She's the tutorial that I followed for the top. And then I did the Daisy Granny Squares instead of the one that they used for the Zara mini dress because I think these are cuter. I love them. And the way I put them together was I double crocheted the join, but I did it from the wrong side so that when you turn it outside, it's flat like that. So and there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube for that. Um, just do it with the wrong sides facing you and the right sides facing in when you join them because you'll get a seam like this I don't know if you can see that but it comes up and I wanted it flat so I did it on the wrong side and I did the same thing here in the front and this part here is also that way and here's the back of it um, this is now way too big for me I've been losing weight on Weight Watchers so I think I'm gonna do I have some other extra grannies Granny square daisies that I did and I think I'll put those on the back side to give it some support and maybe then it'll fit I don't know it's really big now but anyway I've lost almost 10 pounds so yay for me that's the other thing I've been up to and the yarn I used was Karen cotton cakes this is all I have left I think I used two skeins because I did some shorts I'll show you those in a second whoops upside down no now it's upside down <laughs> anyway Karen cotton cakes Sunset Dreams is that color, and for the join, I used this cotton cream. I got this at Michael's. I got them both at Michael's. Cream cotton in pastel pink, and also the shorts I did, and I will put links to this tutorial also. These also fell off, so yeah, they're way too big now. Yay! Good for me. Um, so I'm excited about losing weight and granny squares that are way too big for me now. This is called the granny stitch. It's not really granny squares. And I'll link a tutorial down below for that. And then I did a tank top uh, using also Karen uh, cotton cakes, but that was in the hydrangea color. And this is also a self-striping yarn. So I did the willow granny square. I think they're measuring six by six for the bigger ones and the smaller ones are just regular granny squares and I'll link tutorials they're all over YouTube but I'll link a couple below for you and then I just did the straps um, figured out by myself how to do the straps they weren't hard and then this one this is a boho style tank top with fringe out of granny squares these are also the Willow Granny Squares. I love that design because there's like a mandala in the middle. I love that. And uh, I haven't tried this on lately. It's probably too big now, too. So these may go in my Etsy shop for sale. Um, this yarn, guys, I cannot remember. I know it's a cotton yarn. I believe I got it at Michael's. I'm sorry, I lost the band. I don't know what colorway that is. But that's that. And then the next video... I'm going to show you just some regular items that I've done that aren't granny squares. And stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up in just a few days. And thanks for bearing with me. Thanks to all my new subscribers and all my regular subscribers for sticking with me. And I'll try to start putting some more videos up for you. One will be in a few days and then one next week. The one next week will be about some amigurumi that I've done. Really cute stuff and comfort dolls. So I'll see you back then. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.